Hello, hello, and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of July 21st, 2024. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful and hot Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And you'll be happy to know that we're moving on a little bit from the intense energy of the Mars-Uranus conjunction and Mars' journey through Taurus that peaked last week, because yesterday, Mars moved into Gemini. I heard from so many of you about unexpected things that happened last week. One person decided to close her business, another got unexpectedly laid off, one decided that that was the day to ask for a divorce. So much life-changing stuff. So we've moved on a little from that energy, but today's full moon is still super intense. Early this morning, Sunday, around 3.17 a.m. Pacific, 6.17 Eastern, we had a full moon in Capricorn. And this is called the buck moon because this is the time of year when a deer's antlers are growing. Things are growing this time of the year. So this is the second full moon in Capricorn in a row. We usually have 12 full moons a year, each one taking place in a different sign. However, this year we get two full moons in Capricorn. So Capricorn is an earth sign and the sign of ambition, structure, and responsibility. It's ruled by Saturn, the planet of discipline, order, hard work, and karma. This is not light stuff. The difference between these two full moons is what's going on with Capricorn's ruling planet, Saturn. So during the first full moon in Capricorn that took place on June 21st, Saturn was direct. But in the last four weeks since that full moon, Saturn went retrograde in Pisces. And this is triggering a period of deep internal reflection. So we know when planets are retrograde, it gives us a chance to embrace the re's in life. Reflection, reassessment, realignment, and restructuring. Saturn is associated with boundaries, and now that it's in retrograde, we have a wonderful opportunity to restructure some things in our life. I'm talking practical things, like when we work, how we work, our schedules, how we do things. We're getting the chance to do things in a whole new way. We're also redefining what success looks like to us. Our entire concept of success has been turned on its head in the last month. And when we think of success, most of the time we think of money. But this is our chance to define success in a new way. Maybe success is having a great relationship with your kids or your partner. Maybe it means not needing to wake up to an alarm every day. Maybe it means taking responsibility for your health. So take some time to think about it on this full moon. If you don't know what it looks like, how do you know when you're there? This full moon is also happening at the very last degree of Capricorn, the 29th degree. This critical degree is associated with finality and important endings and transitions. Because it's on this powerful last degree, it might feel more intense than usual. But it also means that something you've been working toward you've reached, or things are really starting to take shape on something. And for me, that's my spiritual summer school. I've been working on getting it organized and launching it and advertising it. And yesterday was the first workshop just a few hours before the full moon. Now the hard work is done and I can just enjoy the rest of it for the next five weeks. There are four other major planetary events happening today too, which add to the intensity of the day. The major one is that the moon is conjunct Pluto. So our fears, our insecurities, and our triggers will all be activated. So if you feel like the sky is falling and there's no hope, it isn't you. It's this moon. And the feeling will be over soon. Since Capricorn is an earth sign, the best way to balance this intense energy is to get out in nature. This is the full moon to get outside, get naked, and howl at the moon. Let all the emotions out, beat a drum, dance around the fire, and let it all out. Get it all out because tomorrow, Monday, is the start of a brand new season. It's Leo season. So it's no coincidence that following this full moon, we transition into Leo season, a time to embrace our most authentic and dazzling selves. Leo season is our time to shine. 
the energy of the two full moons in Capricorn and the Mars Uranus conjunction is launching us into Leo season. From the moment Leo season kicks off, there will be a surge of energy helping us transform. This Leo season, we're going back to the drawing board to figure out who we are and what we want. And a Mercury retrograde during this season helps us rethink who we want to be, what we want to do, who we want to do it with, and what success looks like. Mercury goes retrograde for the second time this year on August 4th, so we're in the retro shade period now. We're starting to feel the effects of the Mercury retrograde coming. So to understand Leo season, we can look to the sign's ruler, which is the sun. And the sun is at the heart of who we are. It's what empowers us, what drives us. It oversees our identity, our confidence, and our self-image. So we're getting launched into this Leo season with intense energy to change. And then we get a Mercury retrograde to help us redo ourselves. We're changing this summer in a big way. Now remember that 2024 is an eight year in numerology. An eight year is about abundance, ambition, material success, empowerment. And we're at the empowerment part of the year now. It's time to claim what you want and who you are. The new version of who you are. Leo energy helps us take action to make the shift to who we want to be. That's up for us this month. Figure out what you want and then fucking go for it. Yeah, there's some effort involved, but the energy of Leo and the sun and the launch forward that we're getting from the two full moons and the Mars Uranus transit gets us moving. We have the confidence right now to go after our dreams and the optimism to know we're going to get there. So I just love, love, love this Leo season. And not just because I'm a Leo rising, we're all up-leveling. So to recap, we get a very intense full moon today to help launch us forward into the next greatest version of ourselves. If you're feeling the intensity, just get out in nature. That will help a lot. And then Monday, Leo season starts, and we get the opportunity to figure out what we're doing with our lives. It's all good stuff. Not comfortable, but good. And that's it for the week. Spiritual Summer School started yesterday, and I've heard from a few of you that you'd still like to join. You can't sign up on the website anymore, but if you want to join, please email me at renee at and I'll get you set up. You only miss the first class on astrology, but it's recorded, so no biggie. There's also a full moon ritual for today's full moon that's included. So let me know today and I will get you all signed up. So I'm going to Pine Creek Lodge for some music and some barbecue with my friend Mona this evening to celebrate the full moon and just how wonderful Montana summers are. So as always, thank you for listening and passing the podcast on to a friend that might like it. Happy full moon. Here we go. And I'll talk to you again next week.